the best deck pool bag building games. In this video, we will rank the best deck pool and all the things that he said games and uh, we'll find out which ones are the best. We don't know, right, actually? We absolutely do not know because behind the scenes, we each separately rated our favorite ones and uh, now we have the scores all calculated together and for the first time, we will see which ones are the best. We're gonna start from number 10. Starting from the bottom or the 10th best board game with deck building mechanisms, Living Forest. <laughs> I know it's there, because I rated it highly. Rated it. When my wife did not make me do it, it was all me. Anyway, Living Forest is a deck building action selection game where you are trying to be the spirit who first accomplishes a certain objective of the game, either building trees or putting out flames or etc etc and it has a lot of deck building first of all i like that when you build this deck in the game you can draw as many cards as you want from the deck but you will either have to stop or will decide to stop because if you draw certain cards too many off you only get to do one action per turn you always want to do two actions so on your turn you can a buy new cards b plant trees c etc d etc etc and e CD. I know the alphabet. E, etc, etc, etc. Number nine, Star Realms. Purely a deck builder. There's nothing else there. Yeah, you basically fight each other by new cards. There's also Hero Realms with like other type of cards, but similar to these conditions. Right. Overall, it's very like streamlined yeah. deck building and uh, fighting with each other. If it wouldn't be that direct, I'd say it's a perfect intro deck building game. But if you're playing with somebody who does not enjoy direct conflict, and I mean, that's the only way you win in this game, then that game might not be for them. So each player has like 50 life and you're playing cards to either buy new cards or deal damage to the other player. And that's what I also like about this game is that you always have choices. Do I buy more cards that give me special abilities that let me buy more cards or do I buy more damage stuff to damage you uh, or you or anybody who's playing me? Number eight, Legendary. Uh, so Legendary is a game system which kind of comes from a game called Ascension, which is an older game, which also brought the Star Realms into a world where you have a line of cards that you can buy and then those line of cards are refilled. What Legendary did, they added like a co-op version of that where you are either playing Marvel superheroes or playing like space marines in the alien world or there are so many legendary games. But essentially what you do is you're playing together and trying to do something, fight a villain, survive, etc., etc. Plus there is also a line where the bad guys come in. So each turn you will draw a card from the villain deck and they will kind of move forward. And if they escape, then that something bad will happen to everybody. So you're kind of trying to buy cards plus fight the villains in the line together. If you've played Star Realms, you would get this quite quickly. It's a bigger game because, for example, each set has hundreds and hundreds of cards with multiple options. The setup is way longer, but just the base is similar to Star Realms. A heavier but kind of family game, right? This is like a quick two-player game fighting, and this is a co-op game. Yeah. So getting good mesh with different yeah. uh, like themes. Place number seven is Legacy of You. Legacy of You, well, that's all you. It's all me. I like Legacy of You, but I didn't think it would make top 10. And maybe it's because it doesn't feel like deck builder. I was gonna say, classic deck builder, classic deck builder, classic deck builder. Classic deck builder? Unique. There's a lot of mechanisms besides deck building, but if you think about it, then at least 70% of it is yeah. deck building. And these choices between how to use these cards that you just bought. Well, the essential idea is that you have to build like a dam before the river overflows. Very exciting, I know. We have a review canal. on Canal. I think canal. it's a canal, was it canal? Yeah, or canal. You were digging a canal. Well, I was digging a canal. Maybe you were building a dam afterwards. I you were know. building canals with dams, so it's both things could go. Well, damn. So the basic idea is to build a canal to uh, get rid of floods and do it in time before bad things happen, but there's barbarians and other things. And if you have played Hadrian's Wall, then this is basically the next part. In general, it's also a research management, there's different other mechanisms, and it's purely a solo game. So deck building is, that is solo. Another different game? Solo campaign game. Solo campaign game, fully resettable, super fun yeah. a game if you're a solo player who likes puzzles. Pa, 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 pa. 
Harry Potter. Oh, that's again all you. I think it made my if top it, 10 as well. If it's this high, then it's ours. This one is one of the friendless games here. It's a cool No, game. please. Yeah, it it's is. It's tough. It's not tough. What do you it mean? Tough. It's tough to win. It's not exactly. tough to play. I didn't say it's tough and hard. Anyway, <laughs> it's two different things. So it's one of the friendliest games we have on this top, just as I said. One of my favorite deck building games because you have tons of cards to buy in the store and you can build your deck so uniquely each time. A bit the luck based, yet the deck building. And we are here to talk about the deck building. It's one of the most rewarding deck building, I feel like, because every card you get feels great. There are these combos and really fantastic. What people dislike sometimes about this game is it sometimes you can really get unlucky with the cards you draw with the bad events and then you can lose. Okay. Number five, Wonderland War. Okay, first bag building game. Well, it's about many things, but most importantly, you have a bag of tokens that you build gradually. That's how you build build the deck, the pool. When it's your turn, you pull out chips from the bag and see, did you win a combat or not? But there's also area control, there's also Card. drafting, yeah. tons of things, ton very colorful game with lots of depth and amazing, amazing production, amazing game, makes you feel good, makes you feel cool. Wonderland makes you feel good. I was really hoping Wonderland 4 would be higher, but well, you screwed me, what can I do? Do you love to win or hate to lose? At this point, I really hate to lose. <laughs> Cause it's so low. <laughs> okay, what's next? Clank series. Oh, especially legacy one. So Clank legacy, Clank catacombs, Clank space, Clank. Just clank, etc., yeah. etc. Et exactly is where you're playing a character who's trying to sneak into a dungeon, steal stuff, and get out before the dragon or anything else gets him and you die. And if you die, you still get to score points. But if you don't get out of the dungeon and die, you don't score points. But if you get out of the dungeon and get back to the beginning, you score some extra points. It's a deck building game. It is a push your luck deck building game. So it's quite unique. It has a board where you move around and different things happen there when you move there. It's a very unique mix of uh, like, Things <laughs> of etc. Interesting. Quax of Quedlinburg, number three. Quax is similar to Wonderland's War, just no, like no, no, family no. version. Of Wonderland's it. War is similar to Quax. No, 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 no. no. Quax of Quedlinburg, you are scoring points, and uh, you do that by taking chips out of your bag and placing into your cauldron, and you just keep pulling, pulling, pulling until either you decide to stop or you bust and that happens when you per pull out a certain amount of ingredient too many times and the downside of that is you also again get to do only one of two possible actions you can either buy new ingredients or score points but if you did not bust you can score points and buy ingredients and then you buy new ingredients and each of these ingredients also has special abilities that let you skip a couple of spaces forward or draw more tokens and then decide which ones to play just a really nice family pool bag building game moving on to the next thing which is the godfather. The one that started it all. The one that started it all. Dominion. If you're talking about deck builders, you have to mention Dominion. It's purely deck building and it showed the world what deck building is. Your favorite mechanism was introduced to this hobby because of this game. Well, I guess the omen, the thank you to it, is yeah. this second place here. Uh, an amazing quick actually kind of yeah. easy to get into as well. So even after these years, it's still saved its, its qualities yeah. for sure. It's still a solid game. It has a ton of expansions and you don't need a ton of expansions to enjoy that game. Just the base game itself is quite enjoyable. Yeah. Well, no surprise there. Was it a surprise for you? No, not at all. Even when we were ranking, I, I felt like this is number one because it was number two for me. Oh, let me, what was number? Hmm. Quax was number one, right? Yeah. Well, this would be the right order. Nah. Nah, well, I mean, come on. No. It's a great game, but it is not something it's that, the comes best game. Mind, that comes to your mind when you're saying like, well, deck building, pool building. When you mention boards, pool building, this is the anyway, game that comes to my Imperium. mind. But anyways, yeah, you get tons of new cards in this game and the whole game is based on the Dune universe. It's come, it came just out after, or actually before the movies. Because movies were delayed, yeah, but it came right before the movies. And it's all about that. And it's about controlling territories. It's about controlling spies. It's about getting the right people behind you and a, with a lot of intrigues. A lovely, amazing, all the good words about this game. It's really, really great. 
in your turns, you just play all your cards. And the biggest, I guess, sell for this is not just the deck building, but also how you use these cards because you have multiple choices with yeah. each card. You, you, you actually don't it. play all your cards. But I you also reveal and play their next Well, okay, you can like, call oh, them no, play. Well, that's Dune Imperium for you. Exactly. <laughs> and etc. Anyways, this is our top 10 games of all time in the deck building and pool building. And yeah. back building. Yeah, I'm sorry for the wrong order, but you have to figure it, it your It is out. the totally correct order. No, it's not. It is. I don't get how you got to influence it so much. Anyways, as always with these videos, this is the top as of now. And we always ask you, please, please, please add in the comments any games that are missing here that you would want us to test out and maybe adjust. So in a year, we'll make an update video with all the games that you have suggested and see where it goes. As a bit of spoiler, roll and rights are coming right up. Not right up, but soon. April. Right? No, I said June. June? Posted to June. Then a lot later. Anyways, right we'll see you next time, June. buddy.